What's up, what's up, guys? Mark Mendez here, the real estate coach, back for another episode of Everyday People. Today, I have a special guest, a young man that I've kind of known for a long, long time uh, through many other people, doing a lot of great things for young people in the city. Uh, so I'm going to bring my guest on, Jesse Gonzalez, on today. Really excited to talk about what he does and what he's been doing for the community and for young people. Yo, yo. What's going on, Jesse? Yeah, man. Nothing. Just just on the show. I appreciate you joining. I know you're a little under the weather, so you're sticking it out. I appreciate that, man. Oh, yeah, for sure, bro. It's all good. So, man, tell, tell a little bit of how, how long we've kind of known each other through, you know, through different people, through kind of youth and through basketball of the city. And then I kind of want to talk about the things that you're doing uh, for youth. Um, I think it needs to be talked about a lot. Yeah, um, man, I'd say geez, since I was in high school and I graduated 2005, so, man, and damn, I don't even want to count the years, bro. <laughs> These years are flying by, but uh, for, for a while, man, over, what is that, damn near 20 years, you yeah. know, so, yeah, man. Um, yeah, so it's been a minute. It's been a minute since we've worked you know, together in the same circle or the same type of people or the same setting. So, yeah. And so what, each other. what are some of the things that I know we talked about? We had lunch uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, and I know we want to do some things together to help talk about the things oh, yeah. you're doing for the youth, uh, your program and, you know, your brand and everything that you're doing and, and what you provide for the youth uh, in San Antonio right now. Um. So yeah, throughout the years, we've done a number of things, uh, anywhere from running a nonprofit organization to a, um, to you know training the youth, mentoring, uh, having basketball uh, teams, and then also just you know one-on-one -on -one interaction with them as well too. So just a variety of things really. Uh, worked at George Irving for a while, so help kids try to get into college, you know, from an a academic standpoint to with my program. You know, like I mentioned before, having over, you know, $2 million worth of scholarships that we we processed throughout the, uh, throughout, you know, I'd say collectively about 12 years. But, um, yeah, so just really trying to figure out a way to get get a lot of the uh, at-risk youth for the most part, you know, out of San Antonio, get them a scholarship, usually it's athletic-wise. So, you know, train them up, mentor them, and try to get them an athletic scholarship just to get out and, you um, get education, you know, get a free education on top of that. Um, and then if they want to, and I always tell my guys this, then if you want to come back and, you know, pay it forward or help out or do whatever else, yeah, then come back. But first, make sure you take care of yourself first. You take the, you know, get out of here, get that scholarship, go on and get a degree, then come back after you get that piece of paper, you know? Absolutely. So, I, I mean, I just love what you do. And I'm not, I think you do it in such a very uh, quiet kind of, you know, you just do your thing, don't really ask for help or don't really, you know, you, I'm sure you have a great team around you of people that have helped you. Um, but the biggest thing that I see is just, I just you kind of move in silence. Um, but I said, that's why we need to team up because, man, I think what you're doing is just amazing. And we got to kind of, you know, bring some more awareness to that so we can get more of that. I know you talk a lot about getting them a scholarship, right? And you talk oh, yeah. about training them, but then you also kind of about the one-on-one. Which one do you yep. think is, you know, obviously the skill set of basketball or any sport can get a kid ready or can get them a free scholarship. But I think you focus a lot on the mental side that, you know, the kind of the, I don't want to say street game, but the everyday life stuff that oh, you yeah, got to prepare sure. them because you can get a scholarship and then go somewhere and not be ready for what you're about to enter and then be right back oh, here. Yeah, most definitely, man. That's, that's, that's the biggest piece to me is like, I, I love the fact that, you know, I played, you know, a while back I played, I played the, you know, the highest level division one. I, I did all that stuff, which is great for me, but you know, I think uh, God also had different calling for me with me having multiple injuries in college, never really been hurt in high school, of course, but college having, you know, three major surgeries in two years. So it was one of those deals where it's like, okay, now I have to reevaluate myself. And then doing that, now, when I came back home and, and trying to help these kids, like, how can I really reach them? And my thing was reaching them just to be better people and not even be better athletes. But, you know, 
I played ball. So it's like from the athletic standpoint, this is my opportunity to maximize this and mentoring them in this way. They see me as, oh, this guy played. He knows what he's talking about. And now me being one of the, you know, uh, I guess the better trainers in in this area. And I not only say that from, you know, from what I've done. Right. But, uh, you know, and being able to help these kids. So, okay, cool. If they see me as oh, this, that, and the other. Awesome. Let me use that opportunity to, you know, really put an emphasis on, me being a mentor than anything else, you know? So like, yeah, I'll, I'll train you up. We'll do all that stuff, whatever else. I'll help you get to the next level. But also that comes with you being a, a healthy individual, you understanding, you know, what the world is about and what the world has to offer. And also at times understanding mental health as well too. Like mentally, you need to be prepared and strong. So there's all those other pieces and added values that I, I try to instill in, in, you know, the young youth's mind in the sense of, Hey, how, how can I, how am I going to be able to overcome these situations during this time? How, what about depression? What about anxiety? What about, you know, all these things are things that we don't talk about, but, you know, I, I found it from a uh, mentor's perspective. Like it, it, I helped them in those ways, ask themselves those questions and how, help them understand, like, how can I process this? You know, how can I cope with these certain things if they do happen? And that's all through mentorship, man. But I, that's, that's why I love it so much is, Basketball is that one thing we all have in common with a lot of my my clients or my my kids that I train or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, basketball is that one common thing. But from basketball, I can teach you and provide with so much more. You know what I mean? So Absolutely. whether that's yeah, that mentor part or or bridging the gap with other people or other programs or or whatever. Because not only not only am I like a you know, hey, I have a basketball team or I had a basketball team as well too. You know, a couple seasons throughout the summer. But mentoring, mentoring trains my thing. So I'll help them bridge the gap with, hey, you try, are you trying to look for a team as well too? You know, okay, I'll help you look for a team. Or are you trying to get a job? Let me help you get a job, you know, and little things like that. So I, that's why I love it, man. That's that's the biggest piece to me, to see these kids being successful, making not necessarily the long term, but, you know, even short term success, like making the right decisions or, hey, you know, I got A's and B's this semester and last semester I got all C's. Okay, great, you know, like, so, yeah, yeah I mean, that's, you, that's, that's I, I just, deal. I know from a mentor side that one, these kids and these people that follow you, they, they don't just follow you just because like you've shown an interest in them. Any, any kid that I ever caught or, t- or taught or coached, I've always shown an interest in making sure that they're okay. Whether you were oh, my yeah. athlete or you were just my regular student. And then once they buy into you as a person, then they can start yeah. listening to the life lessons you can share with them, the kind of free game, the knowledge, you know, that you can share mm-hmm. with them on a daily basis or, you know, whenever you interact with them through training. And then then we're just making a difference. And then hopefully they pass it to your friends like, hey, man, you know, now nah, I'm good. I don't really feel like doing that. Like I'm focused on this goal. You know, I'm focused on yep. getting better grades. I'm focused on going to play college ball. So I'm not going to go party. I'm not going to make those decisions that will ultimately or can ultimately change my life within an instant. So definitely. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. man. And that, that, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. It's just, it's just, I mean, that's what's needed in our community. Just more people stepping up and being a, a, a role model. That's really it because, you know, a lot, like we talked about at lunch, a lot of us didn't, we didn't have those certain role models that we wish we would have had. And I always ask myself, like, dang, at first I used to feel bad, like, damn, why not have that person? And then it became the point where, well, shit, man, let me be that person then. You know what I'm saying? Dang, what am I, what am I complaining for? Let me go and be that person, so. Exactly. Sure. And I think we live in a very victim society, so to speak, where people just, like, want something yep. instead of just you become it. You know, and that's, yep, exactly. I love what you just said. Like, you, um, I've seen a quote, like, uh, especially for parents, you know, I don't have any kids, but. It's like parents be be the parent that you always wanted when or that you always needed when you were younger, you know. And so if we can just be the people that we all, I, I mean, I think we all want nice people around us, right? Like, so if we can be nice, if we can treat people good, and we can treat people better, then hopefully that rubs off to the people in your inner circle, you know. And then they, you know, it just keeps it's like a wildfire of of just positivity, if that makes sense. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So, oh, most definitely, man. Yes. So, what kind of you got any kind of other projects right now? Anything going on or? I'm, I'm right now. You know, this is where it kind of slows down just for a few weeks. Um, 
And I'm trying to figure out, to be honest, I'm trying to figure out what the next move really is at this point. I've done training teams, uh, you know, individual mentorship, group mentorship, uh, you know, mental health hospitals, um, you know, different programs that I, you know, that I kind of created that I was able to implement into multiple mental health hospitals throughout the nation, not just mm-hmm. San Antonio. So it's been six different hospitals. So it's like, um, What's the next move for me? You know what I mean? Like, where's the next move? Like, trying to have a balance, though. I don't want to overwhelm myself, but I want to have a really good balance, a healthy balance. Um, so You got to take time yeah, for yourself, actually, too. Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. So I actually got a, a job opportunity to to move to a couple of different locations. I, just, I don't know if I'm going to take that yet or not. It's it's a temporary thing. It's only, like, you know, eight weeks. But um, so I might end up moving to, uh, I mean, maybe even a different state just to help a hospital kind of created a different program, but I don't know, man, I'm in limbo right now, but I know I want to get back into, I've been having a lot of people asking about training and all that stuff. And this past summer, I kind of took a step back with training because I had a team that I was trying to focus on. Uh-huh. And now that that's done, it's like, you know what? Training was my, that was my stuff. Like, that's what I love. You know, I love training because it goes hand in hand with the mentorship. And then right. you have the kids out there that really, really want to be there, you know, and, it's not because the parents want them. It's because they want to be there, yeah. you know. And um, that's that's the one thing I, I have a re- very special group right now that just they just became freshmen. So it's like, man, I really need to hone a hone in on that. So yeah. I'm probably gonna end up doing that, man. Yeah, taking that group uh, very serious in the sense of you know maybe three or four times a week type deal, and and really focus on sharpening their skills and mentoring them and preparing them because like I said, that 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 group is special. It's Hmm. It's crazy, but I, I mean, I've been training for the past two years as well too. Yeah. So we have so already, already been know, a group. You already but, knew that group was going to yeah. be special. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, so, last question, right man. Oh, go ahead. No, yeah. go, go ahead. No, I, I was just saying right now that they're they're, they're having the training, but the parents keep hitting me up like, "Hey, we need you, bro." You know, yeah. Bob. You know, let me know. So yeah, I need to make a decision soon. But, well, yeah, it's, it's hard. It's hard to let them go because, like, you know, you can't make them better. But then it's oh, like yeah. you know, I you know, yeah, it's almost like they're, they're they're good too. You know what I mean? Like they're good. Yeah. So, hey, last question, man. What, you know, I know you do a lot of mental health stuff. Uh, what is what do you think is the biggest misconception about mental health? Uh, the fact that it's a stigma. It's it's, it's something like um, most people kind of they look at everybody else like, or they look at somebody like, man, this, this dude has some mental health issues and. And the stigma is like, uh, it's such a negative, it's such a, such a negative, um, yeah, it's like a negative stigma that people have about it. It's not, it's not a negative thing. All of us have a form of mental health issues. We just haven't established what that is yet. And then once you can establish that, then you can help with that situation or in that area. So people like for the longest time, I didn't know, I didn't know much about anxiety i just like oh man it's i, I have the butter i have butterflies you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. i'm nervous oh man that's that's anxiety bro you know what i'm saying like or or depression we don't know what depression is you know what i'm saying and once we hear somebody that has depression it's like a weakness it's not a weakness it's an actual thing like a lot of us been through some traumatic events in our lives which stirs up and creates you know depression and right. uh just a lot of different things bro so now i the way i present it i present mental health and I present, you know, therapy, uh, to, to, to kids and, and families, you know, even, even families, man, I've had parents and kids that they bump heads with, heads with certain things. And then I just kind of promoted, you know, going to therapy and figuring it out. Like therapy's a good thing, you know, it's not, and I, let's thank God. I worked with a lot of therapists and social workers in the hospitals where there's a lot of therapists. You wouldn't even think they're therapists, you know, they're, they're people like me and you, you know what yeah. I mean? And they're, but they're licensed therapists, you know? So, and some of these guys, some of these young men that I work with, uh, they feel comfortable going to these guys and talking to them because they can relate to them. So, yeah, mental health is just, it's not a negative thing like most people think. It's, it's something where it needs to, we need to be educated on it. And, and unfortunately, especially in this part of the world, you know, uh, being minorities in, in South Texas, it's, it, it's shown as a weakness, you know, or you're not, you're not a man or you're not manly enough or whatever, if you have some type of issue, but that's not necessarily the case at all. Yeah. I, I believe like you're more of a man if you can address that issue and find a way to fix it or cope with it, you know, develop healthy coping skills. And that's why a lot of us play sports. Sports is a healthy coping skill that takes mm-hmm. away from what we feel, you know, uh, if we're feeling 
sad or upset or, you know, depressed or, you know, anxiety or stress. Basketball's yeah. always been that for me, and I didn't realize that till Later. I was 28 years old. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Bro, we could Crazy, we could man. we could talk this all day. We're gonna have to definitely have you back and on one of our other shows. Um, oh yeah, for sure. Bro. Definitely, because I mean, just I mean, I'm big on this. I know when we talked, you know, I learned a lot from you. So, man, I appreciate you joining everyday people today. Oh, bro. I appreciate you sticking it out because I know you're not feeling well, um, being flexible with the time. So, my man, sure. we will appreciate be talking you. and connecting. I'll see you next Tuesday. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'll see you next Tuesday, bro. I appreciate you, man, your time. All right, man. I'll talk to you later. All right, boy. I'll All see right. you. Later. Man, that was Jesse Gonzalez uh, with another episode of Everyday People. A lot of great information. Um, he's doing a lot of positive things, knows a lot about, you know, the mental health stuff, uh, mental health and men and things like that. So I'm excited to get this podcast out to you. Remember, guys. Um, everybody has a story, and if you're looking to come out on Everyday People, you want to tell your story, let the world know the things you've overcome, hit us up. Remember, your gift plus your why is your purpose. This is The Real Estate Coach. I'm out.